Now let's talk about the total internal reflection by wave theory. So let's x y be the plane surface which separates the rarer medium and a denser medium. Let the velocity of the wavefront in this media be C A and C M respectively. You are able to see the light rays incident and it is getting reflected. A plane wavefront A B passes from the denser medium to the rarer medium from here to here. It is incident on the surface with the angle of incidence I. Let R be the angle of refraction. Since Cm divided by Ca less than 1, I is less than R. This means that the refracted wavefront is deflected from the surface x y in this right angle to triangle a d c you will be having three possibilities a d can be lesser than a c so a and d is lesser than a and c for small values of i, bc will be really small. So ad is greater than bc but less than ac. Sin r is equal to ad divided by ac which is less than unity. So r is less than 90 degree. For each value of i, for which r lesser than 90 degree, a refracted wavefront is possible. That's the condition of ad less than ac. Next, we'll see ad equal to ac now. Now it's ad is equal to ac. Over here, if as i increases. R also increases. When AD is equal to AC, AD is equal to AC, sin R is equal to 1 or R equal to 90 degree. Now the refracted ray grazes the surface of separation of the two media. The angle of incidence at which the angle of refraction is 90 degree that's referred to as critical angle C. Over here, if AD is greater than AC, in this condition, when AD is greater than AC, sin R is greater than 1, which is not possible. Therefore, no refracted wavefront is possible when the angle of incidence increases beyond the critical angle. The incident wavefront is totally reflected into the denser medium itself. This is called total internal reflection. There won't be any refraction, only reflection will be happening.